You're listening to CBC Online at cbchs.org. Welcome back to CBC Online. We're talking golf, CBC Alumni Open, the seventh annual. Here with John Bomarito and uh, Mark Keo, graduate the class of graduates of the class of 1983. John, tell us about the tournament. Uh, well, you know, what's going on? Well, Rob, this year it's of course August 22nd. We're going to be out at the beautiful Whitmore Country Club. Two beautiful courses, uh, also at the Missouri Bluffs. Um, this is our seventh year for the tournament, and uh, Mark and I are just honored to be part of this big event. Yeah, it's been fun watching it grow from one golf course to three, and look forward to seeing you all out here this year. Now, now CBC's always had golf tournaments in the past, but this has really become a real premier event for the school and for the dealerships and for your business. Uh, you know, Mark, what, tell us a little bit about how this thing has grown and how did it begin, first of all. Uh, well, it began seven years ago, and it was just kind of me and John sitting at the pool saying we wanted to give back to CBC a little bit. We went to uh, the alumni golf tournament that was out in Illinois, and we uh, just kind of talked about giving back to the school and thought we could take it to a different level. And you saw that happen over the last seven years. John, what's your take? Yeah, Rob, I'll tell you, Mark and I have been very blessed. Uh, CBC's in our roots, of course. That's where we were taught how to learn, how to uh, compete, how to, uh, you know, really thrive in our business ethics. We, we contribute a lot of that back to CBC. And um, we're just grateful. And we think that since the community's been so good to us and our businesses, um, that it's our obligation to really give back. give back to the people that have done so much for us. And uh, we hope all the alumni feels that same intensity and shares that as they experience our event. And uh, hopefully they come out and they, they feel the need as well as us. You know, we talked about this event growing over the years, and, and certainly it, it impacts CBC families. Talk to us a little about what does the money go to? I mean, what do we do with it? What, do, what is the proceeds from the tournament? How does it help? Uh, well, uh, you know, and then Mark might want to take this one too, but... Um, Go ahead, Mark. Well, John and I, you know, when we first started it, we uh, we wanted to put on the tournament. And we actually fund the tournament. So all the money and all the proceeds uh, that come in go directly to the scholarships. And, you know, if you're talking with Mike and everybody at the, the, the economy today, there's more, more and more need uh, for, for financial aid uh, for the school. Yeah, it's, it's really key to both of us that the, the, the diversity stays within the CBC community. Um, we want to make sure that, you know, because when, when these young adults get out into life, they have to deal with, you know, especially men as they get out into life, they have to learn how to deal with each and every person and type of people that they're going to be involved with. So, um, you know, people that have the academic ability to go may not have the financial ability to go. And we want to make sure those resources are there for the school to make sure that those people can and those young adults can attend CBC. It's really important to keep that LaSallean community together and in place. It's certainly the days about golf, and then we have some great courses. You know, talk a little about the courses, or just how the events run, and how it's how's it how's it grown over the years. Well, we get a lot of <laughs> we get a lot of help. In fact, uh, we just left a meeting today down at the Whitmore Country Club. We had the key support staff, uh, uh, the president, all the way down to every level at CBC has been supportive of us. Uh, Rob, you are supportive mm -hmm. of us as well. <laughs> Roy, Remy. Uh, you know, we're really excited that the whole school is behind this event. This is the second largest uh, event in the school next to the auction. We're proud to be second to the auction, which is definitely a premier event. And, uh, again, uh, it's grown from something, uh, you know, one golf course to uh, three golf courses today and uh, a good percentage of the alumni coming back. Again, we're talking with John Bomarito and Mark Keogh, classmates in the class of 1983. They are putting on the CBC Alumni Open to benefit CBC scholarship programs. Again, this year the event's going to be on August 22nd. All the information will be on your screen. Now, when people know you as successful business people, they know you as alumni. A couple of CBC dads in the mix. You got a senior coming up and you got uh, your son. Uh, what's your experience been as a parent with your sons at CBC? Well, I, my, my son's uh, going to be a senior this year, um, which is kind of exciting. You blink your eyes and he's already almost done. Mm -hmm. But a very, very enjoyable uh, time at CBC. Um, grew tremendously. You know, the people would ask me, you know, what's the difference between public schools and CBC? And, you know, the, probably the best way is that they're taught by, you know, people that know their name. They're walking through the hallway and 
they're they're taught by people who care, and I've seen a lot of good things happen to my son over the three years, and now it's going to be four. Yeah. John, how about you? Yeah, Rob, uh, I couldn't be a prouder dad right now. Uh, my oldest, Bo, uh, just finished his freshman year. Um, he's excited every day about going to school. Um, my uh, incoming freshman, Blake, um, same way. He thought he was in CBC last year in eighth grade. I mean, they had welcomed him in the community right away as an eighth grader, um, and he's excited for his first day of school, which I, I can't, um, I can't, as a parent, you can't be more than uh, more so proud than that. So uh, again, uh, I'm looking forward to the next four years I have, uh, and hopefully I can uh, really make them last, because they do go by quick, as Mark said. Uh, can't believe his uh, son's already a senior. That's, uh, that's wild. Having gone to the school and seeing what the school is now today, I mean, it certainly has to be uh, very exciting to see you be able to send your son to a school that's really got a lot going on right now. Yeah, it's exciting that we have the ability. Yeah. And, uh, and I'll tell you what, uh, we, we couldn't be prouder dads. Coming back to the event, the Alumni Open, certainly a lot of alumni come to this event, see a lot of familiar faces. But to this year, opening up the spouses, when spouses to come and actually have dinner with us after the event. Maybe talk a little bit about that part of the event. Um, I'll tell you, we think spouses uh, in any relationship are real critical, and um, you know this is a big day for the school, for the community. Um, and after the event, we invite your significant other spouses to, you know, the, you know the golfers that play in the day. Make sure they come out, have dinner with us, enjoy the silent auction, enjoy the live auction, um, and some of the great things we have going on after the event. It usually starts about five o'clock. So you have a uh, you know long drive contest. Talk about some of the other contests that can be available for people. We got the closest to the pen. Um, we have long drive contest. Uh, we have uh, the skins game, which this year uh, we're going to allow people to purchase other teams. So we're going to grow that a little bit. Um, and then the auction is going to be items are going to be sent out online so that your spouses, when they come, can 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 purchase some of those things too. But just to be sure, the the term is professionally scored. I mean, the object is to win the thing. Absolutely. Definitely objects to win the thing, um, but the skins game is some serious money too, Rob. I mean, you, you know, if your team's not playing in the skins game, you're losing out on some dollars. So uh, get your team together and uh, have a fabulous day with it, because it's uh, there's some fine golfers out there. I can tell you that some guys coming to play to win. Yep. Again, if you want to register, well, you know, there's several op opportunities. Well, what would you recommend if people want to register right now to for the tournament? Um, Online. Yeah, Online. Online at uh, cbcalumniopen.com. And we'll have the address here on the, on the screen. Um, as well as contact Ann Simpson. She's at 636-391-7200. Uh, You'll see that number on the screen. She's our tournament director. Um, she can email you a packet out if you haven't received one in the mail already by now. We've mailed out a ton of packets. Um, Register early. It fills up. Yeah, this definitely will be a sold-out event. That's a good point, Mark. Um, and we do sell out all the courses. And um, the golfing, just so you know, if you are a good golfer, you still want to come out. The golfing goes very smoothly. We've got it worked out. Well, we're done golfing by 4.30 and yep. ready to have the event at 5. So it's not a whole long death march. It's a great, movable, strong tournament that um, you'll be excited to play in. Still open to sponsorships at this point or still open for that? Absolutely. Um, you know, we've always got room to put another person on the event. So, you know, we've got some about 21 to 22 co-sponsors really um, stepping up this year, already have committed. Uh, of course, Mark and I are your marquee sponsors. We underwrite the whole event for the day. Um, we're proud to do that. Again, we're bit, we're blessed by our own businesses to, to do that. And, um, you know, if you want to get involved, at the time Please to do it is now. Okay. Yeah. Good stuff. Again, thanks to uh, John Bomarito, Mark Keogh, Class of 83. CBC Alumni Open, August 22nd, 2011. We're on two courses this year. Actually, three courses, the two at Whitmore, and we'll be at the Missouri Bluffs. Hope to see you. The information will be on the screen. Again, thanks, guys, for joining us. CBC, men for tomorrow, brothers for life.